Good morning, boys and girls. I hope that you're doing really good this morning um, and having a great Sunday so far. I apologize for the background noise. I'm actually in the airport um, waiting for my flight to Ecuador. So if you hear anything in the background, just try to focus and bear with me. Um, today, I wanna to talk about a really important story and it's a really great example of how God wants us to live. And that's the story of the Good Samaritan, which I'm sure some of you have already heard. Um, but it goes a little bit like this. There was a man who was Jewish who was walking. He had a lot of belongings on him. And all of a sudden, some really, really mean people came and beat him up and they took all of his belongings and they left him on the side of the road. He was so injured that he couldn't even get up. He was just laying there helpless. Then a, a priest came by and this priest was a man who worshiped God and believed in God, but he walked straight past the man lying helpless on the side of the road and didn't offer any help. After that, the priest's assistant walked past and again, didn't offer any help. I wonder if you and I were there, if we would stop and offer this person help that we knew so desperately needed it. Just then, a good Samaritan walked past. The Samaritans and the Jews considered each other enemies, but that did not stop this good Samaritan from helping his fellow man, a brother in Christ. He bandaged up his wounds. He put him on his donkey. He took him to the nearest motel and he paid for his treatment. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty amazing. This man who didn't know the stranger lying on the street after the priest and the priest's assistant had just walked right past him. This good Samaritan just stopped and helped the stranger. And that's what we are called to do as followers of God, as followers of Christ. We are called to be the good Samaritans. So I really wanna encourage you guys this week and during Lent, if you see somebody who maybe is on the outskirts, maybe it's a friend at school who's eating lunch alone and you think, oh, maybe I should go sit with them and eat lunch with them. Or maybe it's somebody who you see getting made fun of in school and you go over and you say, hey, I'm really sorry that this is happening to you, but I wanna be a good Samaritan and be your friend. Or maybe you can help your mom or something in the kitchen or um, help her do some chores, anything. When you see somebody in need, just offering a helping hand. I know that you guys can, and I know that you already do because you're so amazing. So I just encourage you guys to think about the story of the Good Samaritan as you go throughout your week and think of ways that you can be a Good Samaritan too. Y'all have a great week and I cannot wait to see you soon. Bye.